Hello everybody and welcome to the Tardazone Talks here on the Tardazone. Hope to find you all very well indeed. So, as you all know, I've been trying to get my hands on the latest issue of Doctor Who magazine. And it seems like, well, I will show you. I will show you. And I can also confirm when I show you is this. So we'll just throw this up. And we will go to the actual tweet, which should have actually come up, which is uh, ridiculous. Where is the actual? Right. So there is... There is distribution problems in Scotland, uh, uh, the North and Scotland, okay? But where it has been on sale, right? So they're saying it's there to pre-order and stuff like that. But there is a tweet that they threw up, uh, which confirms it has sold out. Which is weird because where is that tweet now? Do, 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 do. Um, uh, actually. There it says it's going to be restocked. So it's sold out there. But there is an actual tweet because if I go back to the search bar, you will see it there that the issue has sold out at the Panini store. So it's there, but I can't find a bloody tweet. But there it is, there, it tells you that it's sold out. Now, I can confirm that in Dublin City also, it, is, it, it has sold out. So I went in on the tour stay together, and I was told that I've, if I came back by someone, uh, go back over the weekend and find it, Still wasn't available. Cheryl's gone in today and she's been told it's sold out. Uh, the magazine is sold out in Dublin City as well. Now, I don't know if... I We all know that the Doctor Who magazine was struggling to sell. I don't think this magazine has sold out in a long, long time. Um... And again, this is the David Tennant RTD effect, along with Shooty, because he's been saying and doing all the right things, that fans are that excited that they want to see RTD's first interview. I did as well. Unfortunately, now, it looks like, unless they restock here in Ireland, uh, I was told by the missus that uh, your woman in the store said, well, if it's restocked, it'll be restocked Wednesday. It should be available. So Wednesday will be the last time that I'll I'll, I'll get a chance of getting this because they're not sure if they're going to get, if it's going to be restocked in Dublin. Um, now, as I've shown you as well, they have been apologizing because um, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, they're having distribution problems. But again, you know, that shows that there's a high demand 
for this that they 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 obviously did release the limited amount because they probably didn't know whether it was going to sell or not but now they've got that answer now they'll have to set and start putting out more copies of this magazine which is only a good thing for doctor who magazine and again congratulations you know because it's deserved now you know what i mean uh, everything is being done the right way you know fans no matter what some there are some people out there obviously that have the genuine concerns and that's fair enough and, and for them it's going to take a little bit more for them to be convinced but there's there's outright naysayers that are saying that this this show is finished it's done all of that well if if the doctor who magazine selling out is any indication i think you know uh this the licensees anyway are going to be on an upward trajectory now um and it can only be good news and this is even before we have seen anything other than the trailer for the the anniversary specials that are coming up um and the buzz and the excitement that has transpired is 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 absolutely mind-boggling but the doctor who magazine has sold out uh, uh, uh according to some according to, to them themselves i just can't find the bloody tweet it must be very since the twitter has gone to crap a little bit i won't get into that but um there's people tweeting and not and they, they tweeted hours ago i'm not even seeing their tweets and i have it on as see new tweets ba basically straight away so yeah it's been acting up a little bit so the tweet is probably there somewhere buried but i showed you there that if you go into the search bar it tells you that it's been sold out and i can confirm that in dublin definitely anyway in dublin city right which is where the magazine would actually go to it wouldn't go I, I'm, be, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't end up down the countryside it, it comes to dublin um that'd be the nearest place to get it so if you're a doctor who fan you live down the countryside you know you're probably ordering it over the phone and, uh, and reserving a copy you know what i mean that's what i'll have to do from now on be smart about it so what i'm going to do is before i go into town wednesday i'm going to ring them up and see if they've got a mag the new doctor who magazine there they do I'm gonna ask them to reserve that copy for me and i'm coming into the city center straight away so they've not to give it away i'm literally coming in because sometimes they'll hold something for you and then they'll just get rid of it some people will do that um so hopefully i'm able to get it but i can confirm that the stock that they had sold out now when i went into the 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 Eason's the shop here in Dublin. They had four copies left of uh, the the last issue with Jodie Whittaker in the spacesuit with Mandip and and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, John Bishop. Um, and there were still copies. There were still copies there. This latest issue is actually sold out. So. As I said, this this is absolutely fantastic news. It, it also shows as well that the backlash, the backlash that's been happening on Twitter, has had absolutely no effect on sales. Whereas five years ago, when we backlashed, sales of the magazine did suffer and all of that. So it just goes to show you that the current fans. That have now become the not my doctors because that's what they label people that don't like the 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 incoming doctor and all of that even though it's not justified we had justification but anyway um it just goes to show you that they're giving out they're moaning on twitter they're crying their threats their bullying has not affected the sales of the magazine they're in for a rude awakening now folks they're in for a rude awakening because what they don't realize is is how popular rtd and david tennant actually are and you know they might some people will have gripes that david tennant is back and it's kind of overshadow shoot you a little bit i don't see it that way i never have i think bringing david tennant back is a stroke of genius 
you need to get the show's reputation back. Yes, some will argue that it should have been left to shooty, but he is an unknown uh, in the Doctor Who in, in, in this anyway. He's not obviously an unknown because he's, he's done work, but with Doctor Who, obviously he's a new Doctor. <clears throat> and there would have been a bit of risk uh, attached to just going with shooty. Whereas with David Tennant, it's a safe pair of hands. That's the bottom line. And he will help bridge that gap. And he will help, uh, hopefully, to bring fans back that were disenchanted uh, for the last five years. And, you know, hopefully then, though those fans that come back into it to watch the 60s stick around to see what shoot he can offer. So, <clears throat> I think it's a, a masterstroke. But, again, as I said... All of their crying, all of their, their stuff that they're doing on Twitter has had zero impact on sales. When there was a backlash with Jody Whitaker and Chris Chibnall five years ago, there was a huge backlash and magazine sales dipped completely. Merchandise dipped completely. The sales, everything did. Uh, seems like we're in a different situation now. Remember, as I said... These, the, there was only, there was only, they were a vocal minority, but the previous regime uh, gave them a voice and, you know, s supported them and they became insufferable. You know, he made the show for them. Um, but the thing about it is that's why the ratings went to crap and everything else went to crap. There's a difference here. There's a different feeling here um, now this time round. And we can clearly see that they were only a vocal minority because they can't even make any impact. They can't even make any impact on Doctor Who magazine sales like we could. Because um, a lot of high-profile people stopped and publicly announced that they weren't getting the magazine anymore. And that did have an impact. These these um these uh these are different times. So yeah, it's good news. It's good news. Um I'm glad the magazine's doing well. I will make one final attempt. To try and get it. If it is. It, I hope sometimes. I'm told that they do sometimes. Uh, reissue uh, these magazines. Then after a while. Uh, hopefully that's the case. I'm still going to get it. Because I want to start now. As I said from now until the time of the 60th. I'll be buying. <coughs> excuse me. I will be buying the magazine. Uh, I want to support the magazine. Uh, in this time when I'm feeling in this space and I and I feel like you know that the that there's a good vibe around the show now so I'll 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 support the magazine um so I'll make one final attempt to try get this magazine um and hopefully I get it um because I seriously at this stage I'm getting quite uh desperate for to get my hands on it um, but we'll we'll try uh, anyway. As I said, uh, I'll ring them up now Wednesday, and hopefully they're they are there, and I can reserve a bloody copy. Because if I can reserve a copy, I'm going to reserve uh, a copy, and I'll go in and get it straight away. Be brilliant in a now job. I'll just have to get it into town, grab the magazine, and back home again. So I won't even have to go searching all over the place. But to recap for anybody that's joined at the end, Doctor Who magazine has sold out in some regions, I suppose we could say, of the UK. They are having distribution problems in Scotland and the north of England, but in places where it has uh, been stocked, it has sold out according to Doctor Who uh, magazine. Uh, also, I can confirm in Dublin City, uh, the magazine sold out as well. 
So a good start to the RTD era, good start for uh, Doctor Who magazine. And as we've been told, Doctor Who magazine will be getting a lot more exclusives and will be used for what the magazine it was supposed to be used for in the first place. You know, where the showrunner and, and the actors and actresses that are involved in the show can go do their interviews in. It's a fan magazine, you know, Chris Chibnall treated it like crap. RTD is giving it the respect that it, des it deserves. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can. Um, let's see now uh, if they can keep this momentum up because uh, it'll be great for the show. It'll be great for the show anyway. But uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to actually talk about anyway was the magazine. I thought it was relevant because, you know, as you know, I've been trying to get my hands on it um and i just seen online people were talking about the fact that the magazine had sold out so i went and checked it out and as i said there the tweet comes up on the google search but as i said twitter's gone to i don't know what's happened twitter but uh the it, elon has said that there's just some on android it's running very slow and stuff like that and that actually does seem to be the case but also I've noticed as well, I'm not seeing some people's tweets until around six or seven hours after they post them. But even though I have a set to see the latest tweets, like it's it, it's mad. So it's gone all over the place. But I can confirm in Dublin City anyway, it has sold out. In some parts of the UK that has been able to stock it, it's been sold out. But they do have, uh, they do have issues in Scotland. Uh, with distribution and the north of uh, of England, I'm I'm presuming when they say the north, um. So yeah, so uh, they hope to get it to get it out there. Apparently, it's it's going to be available, uh, for a couple of more. They're, they're going to obviously put it out again, um. But yeah, that's one thing they'll have to do now that they've seen the popularity, and how popular this magazine can get again. I hope they sort out that distribution problems and make the magazine make you know they, they, they want to be printing a lot more copies now because they're gonna need it. Uh and especially fans like me, because I'm being honest, you know, some people were saying to me on Twitter, why don't you get the digital copy? Right? I want to hold it physically in my hand. I don't think people read it's the same with books. You know, I like books. But I wouldn't. Cheryl likes reading them on our tablet, right? She she doesn't mind reading books off tablets, right? Now, don't get me wrong. She she'll read a book as well, but it's more convenient, obviously, on the tablet. But for me, I like to have the book in my hand, you know, to feel the paper. It's weird, you know. You you know what books smell like and stuff like that. But you want you want it. That's the whole experience of reading a book. And that's what you don't get that with digital copy, basically. So that's why I'm so desperate to try to find this magazine. And, and you know, when I'm in there, I'm actually going to say to them as well, when the next issue now comes out, if I leave you as my phone number, can someone get in contact or something? I don't know if they even do that, but I'll figure something out. But look, we'll leave it there anyway, but some good news some good news uh in relation to the magazine and as i said dessert because it's gone through a rough uh period um so congratulations to everybody connected to the magazine um keep up the good work and uh yeah i uh, can't wait to see what other uh stuff we get now over the next few issues and leading up to the 60th it's going to be very interesting it's going to be very interesting but uh yeah so yeah we'll leave it there folks but uh as i said you know good news good news anyway right so listen have a good one um enjoy the rest of your evening um obviously like the rest of the uk we've been watching uh, i'm a celebrity get me out of here I'm actually getting, just before I do leave, just say that I'm actually kind of getting sick and tired of everybody bitching and moaning about Matt Hancock. I mean, the people that are bitching and moaning about Matt, Matt Hancock are watching and have made a, 
uh, rating success for ITV. Uh, probably the most watched I'm a celeb in a few years. Um, and they're moaning. And yeah, same people that are moaning voted them camp leader. Um, so I think that it's all getting hypocritical right now. Um, seriously, it's it's it, it it's a joke. If 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 you want to make a point, then stop watching. Simple as that. Stop talking about them. The more you keep talking about them, and the more you keep you know keeping them in the limelight, you are doing it. You are doing a favor for them. So if you don't like them on the show and yeah, and you are blaming ITV. Like, but you're all watching. You are all watching. If you all weren't watching, right, and commenting on the show, then I'd say, right, fair enough, you all have a valid point. But you are all tuning in to watch. So if you are that disgusted by ITV for bringing them on and bringing other people in the show that you think shouldn't be on the show, well, then why are you all watching? You send a message to ITV by tuning out and making the lowest rated I'm a celeb that they've had in the last few years. And then they take drastic action. Trust me. But now everybody's watching. So I don't think you can all be moaning and you're joking or taking the piss. That's where I stand on it. Don't watch and then, you know, if VTV see that the ratings are going down, well, they'll have to do something to address it. Anyway, we'll leave it there, folks. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And uh, we will talk to you tomorrow.